Yo, man, so what's up, YouTube? It's Ski Network, man. We back in this whole another video. I got my boys with me. I'm gonna let them introduce themselves in a second, but we're doing the uh, first book bang on the channel. We're doing them with Raising Canes, man. So, y'all shout out Canes. Hopefully, they got some good food for us today, but I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. We can start that way. Start with ET. I'm ET. I just told you the one, you know, got a couple names, you know? Yeah. Where you from? Oh, yeah, I'm from Chicago. Yeah. Shout right. Yeah. I'm Quiz. Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? It's here. It's here. Yeah, I know I'm from Dallas, man, but these are my roommates, or two out of the three, or it's three out of the four. So, um, yeah, but today we're going to. Um, we're gonna do a little mug, man. I got some uh, questions. I got some topics in here for us. Y'all go ahead and get y'all full, really. I'll pull it up. I'm gonna wash my hands right quick. Okay. Uh, this is this. I said, uh, we're gonna talk about how we got here. So, uh, I transferred from Montana, University of Montana, or, you know, University of Montana. Uh, I transferred last December uh, since I've been here. It's, uh, there's been a lot of uh, new things for me, but. I feel like I'm um, learning, picking up with the uh, pace of how we do things here. I think it's cool. So that's how I can go ahead. I came from Indiana. Uh, I got here like, like late January. So it was kind of like a rough, rough time being in that, in that transfer portal. You know what I mean? Especially Back. the guys that, that has a, a good resume to the guys that don't have a good resume. And I was like one of the guys that they have a, like a big old resume, especially being in school for like three years. So, uh, so yeah, I decided to you know get a transfer party and I just ended up here. Um, I'm from, I came from East Illinois to EIU. Um, I came this last December two or January, whatever you want to call it. I basically got here because. I really wanted my coaches, like my coaches changed, my coaching situation changed. And I really wanted a, a fresh new opportunity with my last year. And I didn't really want to like, I don't know. I really just wanted a new opportunity though. And I felt like coming here, like gave me that all around, made me meet new people. Cause my old school was a small school, so I just know I wanted to go play better competition as well. And, uh, yeah, so all the above. So we gonna bring the conversation a little closer, uh, make the conversation a little bit more personal. So I need y'all to hear what we talk about, man. Say what? So we got canes. Canes, man. It's yeah, different. Yeah. But, uh, okay, I'll post it. Nah, you good, you good. Yeah, he ready to eat. Who is not playing? We all got that, we all got that Kenya. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what's something y'all tell, like, somebody, like, that's thinking about entering the portal? Like, starting up. I know I ain't put that in, like, the little script, but I just, since we already, we all came from the portal. Um, I'll tell them, don't enter the portal for reasons thinking that don't enter the portal and just think that everything is all good. That, like you finna get what you want out of the portal because the portal is very scary. And I know people say that, but even for me, like I was a two time first team all conference and I wasn't getting the schools that I thought I was gonna get, like to be honest, entering the portal. And I thought that like, everything was gonna be all sweet and, and gravy, but schools, they really, especially if you don't come from a big school, like all that accolades and stuff really don't hold a lot of weight as you probably think it does. So, and this coming from somebody who had a, like good accolades. So, especially if you don't got good accolades, like if it's something that's that small minor problem that you could just talk to, talk through with your coach, I feel like that you should probably take that step unless it's really a both-sided, wholehearted decision for you, you to move on. So, yeah. What was your 
<laughs> uh, well, I would say like, make sure you see the other side. Basically, what he said, like, you can really be back at the crib. Like, it's possible. <laughs> like, like oh, I just see some people that went in the portal, and they've been in the portal two years, but like, you're not left <laughs> by ever again. So. Yeah. so make sure you see the other side. Shut up. I say, make sure you have a plan before you get in there, though. Like for real, like you gotta know, like where you trying to go and like it's about who you know if you don't you don't know like somebody in that building you trying to go like your homeboy tell you oh we got a spot for you mm -hmm. we got a spot for you here and there it don't work like that because you don't know what go, you don't know what goes on inside them buildings you know what i'm saying the means and all that so and i say when you hit the trash floor portal like listen to that video bro because like I'm you sorry. can't come back. I did, I did. <laughs> listen to that video. I did not listen to that video. No, I'm like, look, no, I'm ready to get out of here. If you not. Kylie, and in today's video, I'm going to explain to you what the NCAA transfer portal is and how it works. Get out of here. If you not one of them guys, they won't back. Don't even try. Don't even attempt. Don't even attempt to hit the portal. Don't even attempt. Me. And that's, I know it kind of sounds like cliche coming from three people to hit the portal, but it's like. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say we made it out, but like, cause we had to, you know what I'm saying, talk to God too, but still. Uh, yeah. yeah, back to what you said, like, you wanna make sure your school even better because what I'm starting to realize now that I'm getting older and more into my degree and about to graduate, where you go, like, just cause you, like, we could have the same major at two different schools. Our degree is going to hold to two totally different weights. And I didn't understand that. Like, that's why you really want to make sure the school you go to is better because if you go transfer to another school, say you, you got to switch degrees. People don't talk to you about that. They don't know, they don't know that you gonna, might have to switch your degrees, especially if you ain't graduate. That's one. But two, your degree, say you is in the same degree, your degree might not even be, like, they might not even hold the same weight as a, your degree at the school you already at. Mm -hmm. So now it's gonna be tougher to even find a job because uh, they gonna think kids that come out of out of that school, they don't really they don't really know what they doing when they come into the, this workforce, this yeah. workspace, compared to kids that come out of this school. You feel me? So that, like connecting with different business owners and stuff made me realize like it really matters what school you go to as far as your degree. And I'll say another thing is like don't let them new friends come to the midst, like what you got going on, you know what I mean? Cause as soon as you hit that portal, you gonna have like different friends from like back from like from high school try to call you. You got the the uncles, the aunties try to call you. Oh, where you going? Where you going? You going here? You going there? Like, you know what I mean? Don't don't have all that like, all the people talking in your ear about that because like at the end of the day, you gotta make a business decision. So they can't talk that for you. like. Only time you need to be sharing like some school information and stuff like that with probably with your trainer, your parents, and like people that who you love that you really trust. Like don't be sharing that with nobody else because mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Because you don't need you don't need everybody here. And sometimes like even for me, like I was kind of like sometimes depressed. You know, I was sit in my room and come home and just be like, man, like. Why well, don't we get a shot? You know what I mean? And stuff like that. So, and I just, I, I just pray about it sometimes. You know what I mean? So, that's a great way to say we're into my next uh, question. I was gonna ask about everybody like mental health. Yeah. Like lately, I feel like mine been smooth. I mean, I, I know where I was. So like, I know where I was when I was in my old school. So, yeah. like, I done came a long way. Yeah. Um. My mental health good too. Um. I say that. <clears throat> Some things that I struggle with, because football means a lot to me. So like, I'm just not really understanding like defense. Like, I, I understood my defense and my rules and what I just came from, but like now I'm learning the, like multiple different playbooks. I'm really starting to understand like the concepts of defense. So at first it was messing with my mental health because of how much football means to me, and. Like it, like, it kind of was making me feel depressed of just about everything because football is my escape. So if I'm not really doing how I want to do on that, 
and it kind of affects that. Okay. Yeah, so, but I'm I'm good now. Been studying, mm -hmm. my dad, and my mental health right now. No, I'm good overall. It's just that part of like it take it out for real. Like you real like it's a real like business. Like it's a business city, so you gotta make you gotta make the right one. And by the way, how way it's set up is like it's not a guarantee. Like when they call you and give you an offer, it's not a guarantee right away. You gotta go to business school and then they gotta they gotta say they gonna say all this stuff at the end of the day. It's like, hey, like he ain't offering them yet, so you know what I'm saying? You gotta get them transcripts yeah. in. You gotta get all that in. Man, that, that'll take hey, it out. Yeah, right even there. when they do offer y'all, yeah. and you go on your visits, people gotta understand, they just gonna try to do everything in their power to get you there. So you can't look at the program for what they showing you on your visit. They gonna show you the best that that school has to offer by far. That's not gonna be your day-to-day -day life. So figure out y'all day-to-day lives and can y'all accept that, who you gonna be around instead of just looking at what they showing you on, on your visit. And y'all boys, this also go back to like high school too. Bro, when they ask y'all, do y'all have any questions? Please ask them questions, bro. Ask everything you could think of. Write something down before you go. I, that's the biggest mistake I made, not asking no questions, trying to just be the cool guy like I have seen it all before. Yeah. No, yeah. ask them questions, bro, please. That's that. That will keep you out of the portal. You make the right decision initially. Mm -hmm. I got a question to ask y'all. Um, can y'all, what's more like, yeah, it's a good question. Can y'all y'all break down how hard it is to really be a college athlete in y'all own experience? Because I know people think, well, people un like say and understand it's hard, but like, I don't think college athletes really break it down to like, how hard it really is to be a college athlete, how dedicated you really have to be to be a college athlete. I don't think people really like talk about that enough. Like, me personally, all I heard was that it's hard, like coming out of high school. That's all I heard. I didn't know literally that it was mentally and physically hard. Yeah. Like it's yeah, both. It's, yeah, the schedule long, like you ain't really just thinking that's gonna bother you. Like, like thank you, I can do it, but they don't tell you about the hardest part though. Like for me, imagine this for me. Like I'm gonna paint my picture right quick, just real quick. I'm a senior high school in December, 2022. I graduate that same month. I go to college January 13th. I'm the only person that's new to the school. Everybody else that been there. I'm the only dude. So like, and then it's not even like rituals and stuff. Like coaches like to like, mess with freshmen because they're trying to get in their head like build the mental toughness so i'm the only freshman so it's like i'm feeling it personally pause but every single day like every single day coach on me like so it's like that you dropped it again yeah <laughs> so every single day coach on me just me because i'm the only freshman so you going through that i'm a thousand miles away from the closest family member i got i'm in i'm in montana my family, i'm from texas I'm, bro, on the border, I'm here and here. Like, nowhere near each other. I'm almost in Canada, bro. <laughs> like, literally, I'm, like, closer to Canada than home. So it's like, that That was terrible for me. And it's just like, you can't even, it's not like you have a long day at work and come home to your family. You come home to your dorm and you by yourself. Man. <laughs> Different. Man. Like, for real. Like, you come home to your dorm, bro. You come home to yourself. <laughs> and what I, what, I, what I tell people is this will really help me. And it didn't help me my first year because I didn't understand this. But I know that this has helped people that I, I had to talk to. You have to accept. When you walk into being a college athlete, you have to accept that your life that you was living, your whole life that you was living, it's over. Like, that whole life that you think that, because what I got caught in was trying to carry certain things from that life over to my new schedule and my new things and trying to find old habits to, and it'll never work. Ain't no more showing up late. Ain't no more showing up late. 
ain't no more even the things that made you happy like you gotta find new things to even make you happy. <laughs> oh, like, it's, everything is different. Like that whole life that you just lived is over. Ain't no mom. Come wake me up. Ain't no, ain't no mom. Ain't no you on your own. So you like, gotta. Can you wake me up at the time? You feel me? Dorm bro. You gotta. You gotta. Shit get quiet in that dorm, bro. I don't care how many video games you got. You gonna be bored in that dorm, man. Then you gonna try to. Try to go do things like the other kids. Yeah. And they, they, they ain't playing sports. So you try to live a double life and it's gonna it's gonna come back and bite you every time. Every time. I never met nobody that it didn't come back and bite. Like, I even you even look at Johnny Manziel. He's like He's top like, top of the world. Can't live that double life. Can't live can't do it. It's gonna come. So, sure. all right. Since I feel like we was, I on love Johnny Manziel too. By the way, he was tall. Right, yeah, I like y'all seen the video he did with uh, Shannon. Yeah, Johnny, bro. Shout out, Johnny. Yeah, my dog. But um, for the uh, so since so we talking about for the youth, man, like we just been telling them like so, uh, giving them some game. But like, let's give them some game outside of football. Um, I wanted to tell them like, like as a man. Like not that you older, like how, what age do you feel like a boy should like lose his identity? <laughs> <laughs> I answer first. Make it answer first. Bro. I feel like that's crazy. <laughs> I feel like you should wait. You should wait over, like a time, like some time, bro. I ain't you should wait till you like, like if I like my son, I'm gonna tell him you should wait like senior year. That's me, because I feel like when I got that on my mind. That's nothing, nothing else on my mind. Like, like and it was nothing else on my mind. So that's why I say you should wait. Like, y'all ain't even got to ask that. I just want to say that. Like, I don't even. <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, I, I, you got, you got I had to learn my own. You know, what I mean? <laughs> I had to learn my own. You know, yeah, thing, put the thing on the bottle. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. But I definitely had to learn on my own too. You got to learn on your own. I definitely had to learn on my own. You know what I mean? Gotta watch a couple videos, you know, stuff like I still that. didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I watched all, all the videos. Yeah, all the videos. I tried to prepare the best way. Condom in 60 seconds. First, check the packaging. Just growing up where I came from, we always was like, oh, I've been lost my virginity. I've been lost, I know what I'm doing. So like, I faked it for so many years. <laughs> like, so I, I had this ego like I did, but I never did. So when it really did happen, I'm like, hey, oh my God, ain't no way it's happening. And I'm so busy thinking about that, that I'm forgetting that it's happening. So it was bad, but it was bad at first. I ain't gonna lie to you. But um, I feel like a boy should lose his virginity when, cause these women out here, like you having a lot of bodies is not, Okay. Not cool. Bro. Like, it's not okay. I promise it's not okay. <laughs> it's not cool. Bro. I would take back. It's not okay. I promise. Like, I promise it's not okay. I would rather much wait to find a girl that I genuinely build that connection with and we both build it together so we can really enjoy making love to each other. That's real. That makes sense. The sex is not it. Like, truly. Like, to me, just sex is not it. Cause it blinds you. If it, if it's just sex, it's gonna blind you. Like you just don't want to do that. You're not gonna look at women for what women for what they truly are. You gonna treat women different. You gonna it's gonna carry over. It's about a good lifestyle. Really. And that's why I say like when I know. Remember like my first time, I couldn't get it out of my head, bro. Like it was just everything was. How can I have? How can I have sex again? Like mm -hmm. some shit. So I know that like responsibly now i would tell you the way i would say i say senior year just because like i don't even know why i said senior year i just feel like you i was more like my senior year was when i hit my maturity like you know what i'm saying so i feel like i would have been more mature to handle it than i was when i was young i say about junior year junior year junior year yeah. they gonna have a ride at football season the senior year yeah <laughs> he loses his junior junior year and then go have two thousand yards <laughs> oh, wait now it's this what relationship advice do you wish you would have gotten or listened to when you was young? 
Like, Ooh, like, what yeah. someone the OG told you? Like, somebody told you, like, mm. that you just wish you would have listened, but you ain't listen to him, bro. Mm. I'm gonna let y'all go first. But I say, bro, like, wait till the right time to like meet that one because it's like I won't say I won't say it was a bad time for me, but it was like. Well, we, well, you in high school, it's like, you get, you get yeah. everything. Like I was going, I I went to three different high schools. So I was seeing everything. I, so, I was seeing this like- the best of every world. Right, I was seeing yeah. like, I, I was in too. the 7A, I was in like the 2A, and then I came back to the 7A. I was like, so I was living, so I was like, but at the same time, I had a girlfriend uh, and stuff. So I just say, bro, like, I just waste your houses, bro. Like for real, like, but I don't be to the point that you just like all over the place with females, you know, just having them, just to be having right. disrespecting them too. Like, don't do that. Like, you know what I mean? Keep it real with them. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and the time ain't right. The time ain't right. But you know, and I, I mean? and I know us as humans, like, like it, I know it was good for you to go to different high schools because we get so trapped as humans thinking that this is the only school or this only place that we get to choose from. Like this, these amount of people. I never did people with my school. And people don't understand like how big the world really is. Understand. So understand. you might think, you might think that this is your your lover. This is the one, yeah. but you didn't even experience that's, life. Yeah. Like that's it's a big, big world. Yeah. Like it's a that's big how, variety. That's how I was. I was like, man, this the one. You feel me? You feel me? Like, but at the same time, I ain't know what like what love what like she was cool like she was cool this and that but at the same time it was like you ain't even interact with a lot right. of females probably you uh, feel probably. me uh, it's called this or that so i'm gonna just ask y'all like some questions like some speed <laughs> questions and y'all just gotta like answer them like okay just right off real like i don't even think about them okay all right so first question text or call 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 you better call twitter or snapchat snap twitter let me answer too. Uh, call. You better call. call. You gotta call. I ain't call. You better call. Call right to them. We we too busy to be texting. Right. You better call. Call into it. Like. <laughs> Cash or card. A card. 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 card for sure. Loyalty or love. Loyalty. 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 Ain't no love without loyalty. Yeah, I think loyalty too. Yeah, you gotta be loyal to me, baby. In or out? As far as being inside. <laughs> I like being out. in. Yeah, I'm, I'm an in. I'm, I'm an inside too. We all inside, guys. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Right. cold shower or cold dinner? Cold Ooh. dinner. Cold dinner. Yeah, me too. I can't take no cold yeah, shower. I can't take cool. no uh, Caramel or caramel? Ooh. I'm a caramel kind of thing. I don't really say caramel. Is it bad? I already know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. It's just the way you pronounce it. Oh, uh, okay. Like, if it's caramel, you can call it caramel or caramel. Yeah, I'm a caramel. Yeah, I'm, I'm a caramel. caramel. Yeah. Okay, man. Y'all know, y'all know. Scary movie or comedy? Oh, or comedy. Scary movie or comedy? Nah, I ain't doing no scary dog. I like scary movies, though. No. I'm both. I'm really both. Mm. I, I say comedy. I, I, like, say, I, like, I like scary, scary movies. Scary. Right. I, I like scary, scary movies. movies. What you be watching? I'm more of a, like thriller. Thriller? Uh, thriller? Yeah. I like thrillers. I, I like be jump, watching the. I like jump scares. I be watching the uh, Conjuring series. Shout out that. That's fire. Mm -hmm. Annabelle, Conjuring, all of that. Yeah, I like that. You know, somebody gotta be by me. I forgot the one movie that is on Netflix. It's a crazy movie. I forgot what it's called. Do that scary now. Passenger <laughs> or driver? It depends. Road trip. How far? How far? Yeah, yeah. How far? How far? Let's say five hours. Five? I can do that. Five. I'll drive. Yeah, drive. I can do that five. I'm a driver. Yeah, I'm a driver. I'm a driver. I'm a driver for sure. Only reason why I'm a driver though is because I don't like putting my life. But you gotta let me play the music. See, I can't play music on road trips. You gotta let me play the music. You a movie? I'm gonna go to sleep. You a movie? I'm like an interview, like Podcast. laugh type of guy. Like I need, I go to sleep. I'll listen to music. I feel like right. you gotta play that music for me though. Nah. I think like, get that. After like thirty minutes, I can get, gonna get that. I'm gonna get on the phone. Just yeah, so or get on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't having that one. Unhealthy relationship habits. Hmm. How much space do you think is needed in a relationship? Couple hours. <laughs> Wait, what? A couple hours? 
Like y'all gotta be that far apart, is what you're saying? Nah. Or you say a couple hours like throughout the day? Throughout the day. I say it depends on what happened. Yeah, I say at least eight hours a day. Without talking? At least. Because so out, of the, out of the 24 out of the time you up. Out of the out of the time you up. Because I feel like, especially like, you gotta be able to give your girl space to go accomplish what she gotta accomplish for that day. Mm-hmm. Same thing, vice versa. And then we come back together at night or whatever time we choose to come back. But you just gotta give your partner that space to go do what they gotta do in their lives so you can come back. If you don't and you're trying to be too involved, then that just leads into other things. Making them feel so entitled into your life and, you know, we all human. We all don't agree with the same thing. So that's just like you trying to force things on mm-hmm. the party. What you think? I'm not sure. Are you for like two hours? I mean, I just got to process like what to that. Yeah, for real. <laughs> and like, because it takes a while for one. Because to me, you, you okay. say something. Okay, you say something like wow. And it's like, I, I know she didn't just say that. <laughs> And be like, I'll call you back. Or mm-hmm. she'll be like, oh, I'll talk to you later and stuff like that. I already knew it's something up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we in the middle of a conversation, and then you say, like, I'll call you back. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. See, but I'm like the type. I'm like the type. Right. When that stuff, like, stuff like that happens, like, we got to talk about it now. Because. It take me a minute. Me too. Because. It take me a minute. No us as humans act off emotions. You feel me? And I'm not saying that, like, you don't want to go do some go do some bad things, but you never know what triggers in their life after that that make them like act differently than how they would normally act because they're in a bad mood or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't be wanting to be the person that makes you do stuff different. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. You don't have that much power over. You feel yeah. me? Not even power. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, I guess you say power. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess you say power. But yeah, I, I say like. I mean, obviously it's different for everybody. I'm, I'm not really like the clingy, clingy type, but like, I like my girl to be like that though. So I say like, I understand like space and stuff, but I'll probably say like, I mean, you shouldn't be glued on the phone. Like she shouldn't be sitting on the phone while you leave the crib. Like you shouldn't leave your other phone at the crib while she, like it's just some stuff you shouldn't do. Like, you feel me? Like if you're going to work out, like just say like, you just training, like you should be able to hang up the phone and shit. Like, I'm glad you're prepared. I know I be on the phone a lot too. That's why I'm, I can't really complain, but I know I know when to hang up too. There's such thing as boundaries, like when you're in a relationship. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like, give me an example of boundaries. Like, what's a good boundary, Dad? Don't be bringing up like other people. You like, like. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel like that's more like respect than boundary, though. Mm-hmm. Like, you mean like, from, like I'm saying like, is I, it like what's yours is theirs, what's theirs is yours type? I feel like a relationship is like it's boundaries to a certain extent. Yeah, like I feel like like when you in a relationship, like you're the exception, like and she's the and she's the exception yeah. of your boundaries. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense, like. Okay, I don't like when people do this, but I'm not gonna, if you do it, I'm not gonna just treat you how I treat somebody else because at the end of the day, you're the person that I lay down with and like, you're the person that I do stuff that I don't do with other people. So I be feeling like they're the exception. That don't mean just go do it, but I feel like you gotta be willing to compromise your boundaries. Yeah. And make them, you feel me? So let's just say like, see, um, like for me, the most embarrassing thing that somebody can like go through in my phone is like my camera roll. So let's just say you come in and you see your girl scroll up to your camera. Like that's a boundary cost, or like no. Like for me, I feel like that's a boundary cost. Like, oh, like I feel like like why are you going through my camera roll? Like, if you don't ask, I don't even go yeah. through that phone for real. Like, you, so going through the phone, that's a boundary too, right? That's a if you do it without asking me, yeah. Like you can ask me, let me go through your phone, and okay, cool. Yeah. But if you wait till you I go to go, sleep yeah. or something and then go through my phone, so that's boundary. Cost. That's a boundary. Yeah. Cost. Okay. Like but I feel like you no know, point of like going through somebody's phone, like yeah. what? Like you don't trust. Honestly, me. let me tell y'all something right quick. 
There is nothing ever good that happened from a woman going through a man's home. <laughs> like you're even if he's not doing anything wrong, you're gonna find something in there that you don't like that you disagree with that's gonna make you angry. Like when has somebody ever went through somebody's phone? And you just ain't see nothing like like everything was okay like and not even saying that's all oh, man cheating is just like you can see you gonna see something that you don't like you like, can see a name why are you and bro texting about like you feel me you like say one name it would be like why why is she touching exactly you? like bro that's facts it's exactly. nothing good that ever came from a woman going through a man's phone ever in life ever i refuse to believe that that's that's you. Y'all, no. y'all both be careful out there we might be doing that yeah but, for real. but if she asks if, if she asks if, uh, if she asks then you can all right cool yeah. like don't so be that, one of these that was like what that's like what you had like don't be yeah. one of the ones that leave the, your phone in the car with don't, be turning, <laughs> don't be turning your back either. You be turning your back and you know, leaving mm-hmm. and all that. You feel me? You feel me? Try to have the phone. Like, not let her see your we password. Don't like, nah. You can't give her a reason to go through yeah. your phone. Basically. <laughs> and you can't just hang up the call every time she pop in the room. Like, bro. Like, <laughs> does she go on to go through your phone? Turn, turn, turn your, your, uh, your brightness all the way down. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? But, uh... Is there ever a good time to lie in a relationship? No. Like, no. For what? I feel like no. But, you know, sometimes, like, you gotta lie. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Let me think about that. Like, yeah. you liked your girl hair. You didn't really like her hair? <laughs> Why'd okay. you do that shit? Yeah, <laughs> like, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I, yeah. You're right. It okay. is. So, surprises, too, though. <laughs> surprise and stuff like that. Like you gotta surprise, not. Yeah, I would consider surprise same level. But yeah, for sure. So yeah, I didn't learn about y'all girl appearance before. Cause I definitely have. Kind of like that you like some that you ain't like. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh what? I, I did it myself. I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say. <laughs> that because what you see, this. I'm Cause, cause, I don't <laughs> know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, why would you do that? Like, oh, no. No, I definitely didn't no. did it. Cause, cause it be, it be like they be already sad. I like, up about it. And yeah, shit. Oh, oh, they be already <laughs> sad. Like, I don't know. Like, no. uh, and you don't want to just put me the dagger in it. So you be like, yeah, it don't look that bad. You look good. Mm-hmm. And then you think of like, sure. <laughs> it's a road, like, man. Especially like a shirt or something. Like I told you not to wear. That. <laughs> told you not to wear. I told you not to wear that. <laughs> I like, end up saying it's cute though because like yeah, you you went so hard for it. I, so so hard. Hard. I, I, I don't want I don't want you to be mad because you already you already making a face. So, but y'all know what I don't like. Like this not even this not even my girl in particular. But I just don't like when girls like they be feeling it and it ain't it. Like like when they get that new hairstyle, they be in the camera like posting all day. No. No. Okay, Let me ask y'all that then. But y'all like a a real social media type of girl? No. That shouldn't be a world. Like you should understand that's a fake world. It, it's it, fake. Like it, social media fake. Yeah. This is fake. Like I understand that we sit here doing telling y'all real stuff, but like this is not it real. Like this is know. not but, who but, I am. Like I don't walk I mean, around just giving advice. Yeah, yeah. And we don't just walk around posting every other hour or stuff like that either. Mm-hmm. So that's really what I mean, because I know girls got a bad habit of that running to social media. And it's males do too. I'm not just trying to make this a woman thing, but I know a, like a lot of women does run to social media and post like all day. Yeah. I mean, all day, especially on Snapchat. They got a bad on Snapchat. So where you from? They got a bad on Snapchat? Yeah, mine got a bad on the spams. Everybody be caught crazy on the spams, boy. I know back in my back of my head about the stuff that people break up that they really shouldn't have broken up over. Like, I feel like morals, like you said, them boundaries yeah. be the reason like why wow, a lot of breakups be happening. Like, you have to compromise, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, like some people know. find a girl that literally fits exactly what they want. Pride is the devil. You feel me? But pride is really I the know. devil. Pride, like, bro. Because <laughs> I used to think like that, bro. Like, for real, for real, I used to really think like, nah, my girl can't do this. My girl might be off me. All that, all that. Until, like, I really met somebody who genuinely, that's just how they was brought up. Like, they parents want them to get out and meet new people in the world. It doesn't mean she flirting or nothing. You feel me? That's just how she was literally brought up. And I see it now. 
You feel me? That's why I even got to talking to her in a certain way because I seen how nice she was, and that's really a gift. And we really need to get back to that in life. You feel me? Being able to talk without without it being framed. It's just hard because it's just hard because males males tricky, man. Chief Keith. Chief Keith. Or, so, Keith. or Kayvon. Ah. Grandson. They both from the same place. It's hard because one is the creator or the face, the original face, and one is the current face. Right. I, I honestly right. feel like King Von was Chicago. Like, if you had to be able to, to, to explain somebody, like a Chicago person, or you really want to see what life was like in Chicago, as far as the storytelling and everything, he was the representation. I ain't gonna lie. Let's not speak for your city, though. Just speak for you. You saying Wanda? Oh, for me personally, for yeah, you. it's Von. Von? Cause like like I said, Mama Keith love Von, boy. Like, Keith was just love that man. Keith was just like a product of his environment. Von like he was was yeah. the environment. If that makes sense, like yeah. Von embraced it. Like like he he didn't run from nothing. Chicago brought like I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm Von too. What you are you Von? Are you Keith? But I love Keith. Love us. He start, he, he, I mean, reason why being, I mean, just being around my little brother, like, he stay on that, so, I mean, but, yeah, I can't forget about the OG, though, like, oh, uh, you a kid? Ooh, he say he kid. I just like, love the impact kid had. He'll give me, give me right, he'll give me right for country. the game. I like kid. He gonna give me right for the game. Especially when he first came out. Right, Ooh. exactly. But nah. So I got some money on the way. I got, I'm, <laughs> I'm bond, though. I got OG. Uh. We, we on your city next. I see. Yeah. This city got all the artists. But it's not even really an artist, though. This is a group. It's really a gang. A gang. A gang. Free both of them boys. Uh, we know. You YFN man. or you YSL? <laughs> I'm with Thug, man. <laughs> I'm with Thug, man. YSL. YSL because, like, I I don't like. I love Lucci, though. I love Lucci. I love YSL, though. Like, I just remember like the games I played used to play in high school. Like, mm -hmm. excuse me, right? Slash, 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 slash. I love the man. I love Lucci too. But I'm YSL though, man. I'm I'm, I'm definitely YFN. 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 Yeah. The yep. personal impact Lucci had on. Feel that though. Like, he ain't gonna feel that. Nah, like, he ain't gonna Like. He, he, I don't feel like he's a better artist mm -hmm. than, than, than though. He definitely not a better artist than though. But the personal impact Lucci had on like with that. the songs, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. It's like Lucci be he connect he connect to the bottom. He connect to poverty better than the thug do. You feel me? That's flat. <laughs> no, I feel that though. That's that's real. Hey, I feel both of that. Yeah. All right, so this one's just kind of like random, but uh, well, he is from Chicago, but Kanye or Jay Z. It's like, I want to say yay. I'm yay. Even yeah, though you weird. What? Even though you weird, yeah, as I'm far, still. As far as what? Huh? Just music? Just. Oh, everything. Just music. Because if we do everything, it's unfair. If we like, do I just music, weird. it's yay. I think that's yeah. kind of better. Yeah, it's yay. 100% yay. If we talk about just music, it's yay. If we talk about business and politics, you know. Yeah, that's Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> that man there, he say, it's four billionaires came from his crib. He said, I bought an artwork worth like two million. <laughs> Three years later, it worth like 15 million. Something like that. Who you is? That's hard for you. That's hard for you? I feel like Ye just, like, I don't, like, respectfully. Ye did it all. I though, think Jay Z overrated. Ye wrote for people, made music himself, beats, That's produced, good. engineered. Ye did it all, bro. Yeah, my time. And he, he ain't do it all at a regular level. Cold. He did it all at D level. Yeah, he called. Jay Z ain't do that. I respect all of them, but we went in an answer. You got it. Yeah, Quay, you got an answer. We can't drink. Got an answer. But y'all want to know something, though? Uh, I listened to Jay Z yesterday. Ooh, it hit different, though. Because like, it's on your mind. Like, I think you're already. I don't listen. 
Kanye though. It was, oh, like, it was to like, me, Kanye cover. I just listened to him yesterday. He in my top uh, two, three. I really don't listen to Kanye like that, but I gotta say Jay Z. Jay Z. <laughs> I got to we respect that. I don't listen. That. I don't listen to Kanye like that. So, all right, this one right here, controversial topic right now, like outside and like on the media and stuff. Shots been fired, like you know, what I'm saying ninety six hours ago. We Kendrick Lamar or we J Cole. Who better? Cole. You think Cole better? J Cole. No questions asked. No questions. No questions. No questions. Y'all boys ain't. And ain't no questions for sure. But me personally, I would pick Cole because I like Cole more. Cole got it. But I think I think Kendrick is more talented than him. I think Kendrick better. Like, I think Kendrick better than Cole. I don't know about that. Cole, 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 Cole hard. Cole, Cole hard. Cole. But we got to think about Kendrick, like, catalog. Like, what? It's not better than Cole. It's not better than Cole. How? It's not better than Cole. It's not better than Cole. See, 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 not see. Not you're not a Cole not. fan. Yeah, because you really got to listen. I'm not really a big fan of, like, either. Like, I ain't going to say they're my favorite, but for sure, both what of Cole them. Cole said, I really didn't laugh. But, but they think they're ahead of me, but I'm really in front of them. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. really did lap, lap, be a lap around hard. people for real. Like, but I feel like people just forget about Kendrick. Like, every time he dropped, bro, like, nah, he has top five album of the year. Like, he in that he category. Really, but, he but Cole, too, though. though. They, I mean, they, like, they're in the same class. For, they is for sure. in the same So class. it's like. They're both top tier. Yeah. For sure. But, it, but do we not remember 2020 Kendrick, bro? This nigga was in every commercial. DNA, Humble, both of them songs, Love. All of them was commercial. Like, Kendrick was on the run right there. Sure. If he would have dropped another album, like, next year after that, oh my God. It would have been over. I kind of like both of them, though, they both stay out the video. Like, yeah, they, they, I they like that really, too. They really let their music. They just do music, yeah. but I, I like they, that. So, I, I respect both. But you, you said call, call. But, uh, let's go. Rilo or Cap? Who better? Who better? I don't, I don't want to know your favorite and who better. Damn. Ooh. Why do you got to Who's better? Rilo or Cap? I'm going I'm to be honest. Rilo better. Rilo better? He's a better. He's a better artist. But you like Cap more. I like Cap more because <laughs> Rilo slurs too much for me. Like, it's too much. I don't like all that slur music. Like, sometimes I don't even be hearing what he be saying. Like, Ooh. Right, look. Well, they never been in the field. Nick Saban. They never been in the field. Skip Bayless. He, yeah, he, yeah, he's better. Rilo's better. I ain't gonna lie though. After what, no, after what Rilo just dropped on No Cap, bro. No Cap better come back. But No Cap is getting locked up and going yeah, back and forth. You feel me? He better drop his hardest. Cause, hardest. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he got that. Yeah, he got that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, he got like, that. Like, that like, don't get to that with that No Cap. He was better than Rilo, for sure. So, so uh, you think six, you say he's better than him by circumstance? Rilo. Rilo? I, I think Rilo too. Yeah. Right, Rilo better. All right, cool. We three, all, three for three. We all can agree Rilo better. Hey, I like our food, man. I like the cans. No, that's my, that's my go-to, the can yet. You put our chop boxes in the camera. Oh, okay. Box in the camera. It's going to be like that. Yeah. Uh, man. Uh, I just need like a Mount Rushmore because like I feel like this is a good exercise to like see how everybody like view this stuff like you know what I'm saying like a Mount Rushmore of like entertainment so it's like I on my list I put I say you should have one football player one basketball player one artist one comedian so like that's your Mount Rushmore of like how you came up you kind of realized that okay. like so I started off for my football player I'm gonna go Adele because like he like first put me into like football, like he made football cool for me. Like he just the dance moves, swag, like one hand catches and shit like so oh, there, my father player. Basketball player, long live Kobe Bryant, uh my son. I put Kobe at uh my basketball on my numbers plus up y'all there, Kobe. My artist, we go on Wayne, Lil Wayne for sure. Like my whole life. I always been Wayne. So Wayne and comedian. I'm gonna go K Hart because like said, first seven nigga I was watching and I always make me laugh. I ain't gonna lie, he had to run a chokehold for like 
eight years. All right, all coming. right, all right. <laughs> so that's my Mount Rushmore of entertainment, man. It's for entertainment, man. You got one football player. One football player. One football player. I say Brian Dawkins. If y'all know who Ooh, Brian Dawkins is, that's like a guy that was mean, like me, but like you can just see how football was. Like football was like a little fun to him, and I and it just brought it out of me. Like it can be fun to fun, but can I have like can I have an A and a B? With this. I mean, my restaurant got four heads. So I guess you could just do four, like four. People. But like, I'm a, I'm you receiver. Have though. You I'm, have rece I'm a receiver though. But I say that the other side is like Steve Smith. Steve Smith. Oh, oh, that's yeah. I like you know that. I mean, so that's my dog. I can see that too. Yeah. We need a Hooper, sir. Hooper. Hooper. Jane. Brian. Brian you can't really go wrong with saying Brian. Like, Brian James. what you gonna do? Argue over here? Well, no, I can't. Like, you know what I'm saying you can't like, go yeah. that. Yeah, I was like, hey, he's like, he was the guy. What's the nothing? Artist. Artist? You got you can only put one artist on the face. Artist? Like, that's crazy. I like, know you gotta be from the hometown. You gotta be like, well, way enough from the Artist? But oh, now you got like, <laughs> York gotta be from the hometown. So so y'all uh, got a lot of artists down there. But y'all don't understand though, like Ooh. T.I. T.I. Yeah. That's a that's a like a, a bold man Why to put on say the Mount Rushmore. Like, like, I say T.I. Yeah, because he, 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 he from there. I though. think, bro. from there. Y'all gotta understand. I know bro. the impact. I know. I know the. Bro, I was in that car seat learning yeah, word as word by T.I. Like I'm real. Like my dad. Like repping. Like repping. Like repping to me. Like the song. Like you know what I mean. I got toys in the back seat. Listen to Lil Wayne, bro. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne too. Wayne but, though. Wayne's I, I, but I had somebody else in mind too though. Oh, I had out. Tupac in mind too. Mm, mm -hmm. He ain't do nothing for me. He ain't do nothing for me. By the yeah, same yeah. time, like, but I guess like, but I, it's your, it really your personal like, my, like restaurant too. Like, not just like niggas you would think. Just me and my place. girlfriend. Yeah, I like that one though. I like that. Need one more because you need a uh, uh, comedian. I need a comedian. Who this hard too? This they split in the face. <laughs> that comedian is actually hard. I thought about I'm key. I'm thinking, really thinking. So Why I'm, did I put Kevin Hart on my? Okay, whatever. I'm cool with that. I'm cool. I'll live with it. Let's go. Cool. We got some funny dudes, bro. This word. It bro. is. But I came off of. I want to switch my comedian. <laughs> I think I got five. Bro, this is hard. Uh, big dude name is Bruce Bruce somewhere. Bruce Bruce. Mm -hmm. I love Bruce Bruce. Bruce Bruce. Bruce Bruce gave you the South, like mm -hmm. he gave you the South energy. Mm -hmm. But I gotta go Cat Williams, my dog. Cat. I gotta go Cat. Uh, I gotta go Cat. Cat. Nah, Cat funny as hell. Cat funny. I'm gonna say it here. Cat not that funny. Cat funny. Cat but is Cat funny. is a is like Cat. Is he funny. is so funny because. Cat he is so prepared. He's so, he's so different. Though. He, no, he's so like prepared. Yeah. Like, like you could tell that he took time and real effort to write his jokes. Like you could tell. I that feel like he took time and effort preparing his look. I don't feel like that nigga was always like wearing flatter. But can I go wrong by saying uh, Mike Epps? No, you can never. But them dudes who, who like straight, that, though, straight like acting, yeah. like they funny off just being dumb. Like you feel me? Like nah, cat, cat to get on that stage too. And, like stand up, nah. yeah, but it's it's he's not a funny guy. If you think you're not funny, like, yeah, I don't think I get what you're saying because you don't look, you don't just look at Cat and laugh, huh? Yeah, yeah like I mean, me every time Kevin Hart come onto a screen, I'm gonna laugh because Kevin Hart goes is off the script. Like, goofy, like, bro. And Kevin Hart know how to yeah, go yeah, off the script yeah. and just go off the fly and really just start like, making people just start laughing. You feel me? Yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna say my ups so. I'm yeah, Mike Epps. Mike Epps. Yes, nah, that nigga just. When he, he talk, is dumb. No, no Mike Epps is like dumb funny. Like, yeah, he dumb. like that dumb homeboy that's just funniest. No, hey, bro. my favorite movie about him. No. Talking about the business. When he was business. talking about when he was, no, when he was talking about that girl and that one. No, when he was in that special ad class, he was talking about that. Shit. Oh, bro, I was laughing so hard because, bro, I understand what he was talking about because I was one of them kids. That was pointing at the dude when he was in the classroom. <laughs> it's like, it's funny. It's All right, E.T. Football, basketball, actor, wait, no, artist, and comedian. I ain't gonna lie. 
Besides Tom Brady, I think this is the best football player to ever live. None other than D. Ray Lewis. I don't think I thought he was going to say Lawrence Taylor. No, I'm say Lawrence Taylor too. No, I don't think he said he ain't got thought he was going to say D. Low key. He ain't came up. We going off like what we. You feel me? And, and. What Ray Lewis been through as a person, as a kid, he only even got offered because somebody I think got ended up getting hurt. He was the last offer. He he left with like twenty dollars and one white t shirt. He said like two, one or two white t shirts. And told him, look, and told his mom and smell and said, I'm gonna be alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like no cap. <laughs> he as a true freshman at the University of Miami. A true freshman, gang. Yeah, like, I really studied Ray game. Yeah. Football, Ray right, Lewis, for sure. It's not I like your, I like your, uh, it's my not, response. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Who's next? Uh, basketball. Basketball? I gotta agree with you. Kobe. It's, it's the mama, bro. 24, man. Like, 24. Even with Kobe, bro. Like, it's the same. same Kobe was, time. it's the same thing, bro. Like, I just wanted to be mad. Everybody. It would never be another Kobe Bryant. I promise you. It would never ever be somebody who would text the game like Kobe Bryant. Artist. That's See, the one that's hard. It's not really hard for me, but it's like I'm I'm, I'm gonna do an AB. And I know a lot of people not gonna like who I say, but I don't care what y'all say about this man. This man that helped me grow up. Oh, y'all know y'all could have said like, I'm sorry, y'all could have said like singers and stuff too for our artists. That's why I would say artists, yeah. those rappers. But mine wouldn't have changed anything. Yeah, mine a rapper. Oh, okay, cool. Mine a rapper. And I know people are going to say what they say, but this is still my favorite rapper, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Just off the stuff he he didn't got me through. I felt like he used to be talking to me, bro, to really like help me get through. And I don't say that about uh, about nobody. Meek Mill. Me. Man, you can't you can't be mad at me, but I don't care what nobody say. I feel like he is the best person to ever touch a microphone, gang. I ain't gonna count with you, bro. I ain't gonna count with you, bro. <laughs> That's real though. Me, I wouldn't say that, but yeah, the me stuff me say, bro, it's for the oodles and noodles babies. Like I ain't gonna lie, it's for those kids. I feel you. My B. And I think this is the shot right go. If young Pappy would never die. If if you know, if young Pappy not a, I think it would have been Young Peppy, but now, hurt. Jerry, I knew he was gonna say that when he said my shot right go. I mean, yeah, it's my shot right go. Jerry, I knew he was gonna say that. Um, uh, <laughs> that's self expression. They saying heard the gun direct. That's what he said. He ain't need get through processing. Snitch. <laughs> All right, bro. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna say my go. You know what I'm saying? But, but All right, who next? Uh, comedian. Chris Tucker. That's like hard. That's hard. And it's straight off movies. I'm talking about. <laughs> like, I'm talking about movie Chris Tucker from Money Talks to Rush Hour. It wasn't nobody funnier than Chris Tucker at that. And, and that and that there wasn't nobody funnier than Chris Tucker, bro. That's why the acting film. Chris Tucker that had me on the TV dying like. Like back to back to back to back. Like, bro, it's like goofy. Like, you see, uh, Buddy Toss, bro, when he got on the, with the armed prisoners, and he be bugging with the, the hair cartel, dude. Yeah. Then he said, then they took him on a plane, and then he like, and they thought about the money and stuff, he gonna kill him because he was stashed to him. He said, yeah, yeah, we can just not share that. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little dumb. He said, oh, nah, we don't gotta do it. <laughs> like, like, so, so you said, funny, bro. For my. Actually, since everybody added a fifth head on, <laughs> I'm gonna just add a fifth head, and I'm gonna add on to my comedian, uh, comedian A and B. I had Kevin Hart for the first one, but um, for my B, give me Martin, bro. Oh, great, great, Martin was so, bro. The show, Martin movies. Stand up. I only watched one stand up of Martin. I can be honest about that. I only watched one stand up. It was funny. It was funny. Yeah, I but I ain't, but Martin is just like 
He like the kid that like. Sorry, I'm not he like a big kid. Like he's like a big kid. Like, like a big kid. he like the kid that never wanted to grow up, bro. Like that's how I see Martin, bro. Like he just like to play. Then chop it up on here, man. My boy say he finna start his YouTube. Oh yeah, man. So he wait on the uh, stuff get made, but I'm gonna let y'all know, man. It's coming real, 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 real soon though. For sure, and uh, you know what I'm saying. I'm uh definitely posting stuff, and y'all go follow me at. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put it right here, and then you can tell them what the fuck you at. Actually, you'll just put it above your head. We all gonna put it. We gonna I'm gonna put it above y'all head. I'll put it above their heads. But yeah, y'all go follow them on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, appreciate y'all for sticking with us, man. Kane's was good. Good little talk. Good conversation. But yeah, we out here. Hey, hey yo, 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 I try to be ski. Nah, I said ski out here. <laughs>